Alright, we're going to take a look at shuttle operations and how the science and communications officer work together with a shuttle pilot to be able to drop off and pick up things like marines, cargo, medical teams and engineering teams. Here I have the TSN Saver. It's close by to Eaton, Eaton Station, Columbia Station and Salina Station. Uh, I've also got three rendezvous points that have been set up by Command and Control. Rendezvous point one is a marine drop zone. I can tell that because at the top it tells me it's a marine drop zone and the description below explains what it is. That one is where I want to be able to fly out, drop off marines and they can move to secure that base. Rendezvous point three is a medical drop zone. Uh, there is it's a specific type of drop zone where I'll drop off medical teams. And rendezvous point two is a medical extraction point. The mission here is to drop off marines at Eaton Station to be able to secure that station and then the shuttle is going to fly to Salina Station to pick up um, medical teams and move to Columbia Station to drop off those medical teams before returning. This can all be done before the shuttle docks so the shuttle doesn't have to fly out to each point and dock, it can move through each of them. We're going to move now from the science screen because the science officer would have identified these points and started to think about the mission and put that together and then the captain can begin ordering his comms officers to start taking actions so as captain he might want the or she might want the marine drop zone uh, sorted first to secure that station so they'd have to order comms to start the process of loading the shuttle you can see here we have the TSN Sabre, that's the only ship spawned at the moment, so we're going to open that commu communications menu and we're going to look at the shuttle operations here. So the shuttle currently on the TSN Sabre should be completely unloaded, so I don't have to worry about unloading any cargo. The first thing that I need to do is load up the marine, so if I click that, the TSN Sabre confirms that that the orders have been received and it's configuring the Proteus and then the marine teams are loaded onto Proteus. Now that the shuttle is ready it can make way for rendezvous point one. So it's over to the fighter pilot for this they are going to launch and move towards rendezvous point one. I'm in Proteus here I'm going to launch that Rendezvous point 1 is over by Eaton Station. You can identify the rendezvous point by looking closely. It's not actually quite on the station, there's a little bit of uh, distance between it. But directly in the centre of the screen you'll see a small green flicker, that's a waypoint marker. It's semi-transparent, uh, so you can move through it. And it just indicates the zone to be able to move through and drop off these marines that are currently loaded. If I was to go to one of the other rendezvous points, nothing would happen because I currently have the wrong loadout. So I've reached the rendezvous point. I can tell the Marines have de been deployed because the message has come up saying Marines deployed. Now the shuttle is unloaded. It's got rid of its Marines. So it can move on to the next objective. I'm going to try and find, I believe it's in this direction, the next station. I'm going to just leave the shuttle flying for a moment. So here's the Proteus. I'm going to head down to Selena Station now. The science officer will direct them, uh, saying that they're on the right heading. And rendezvous point two should allow me to pick up medical teams. Notice the shuttle doesn't have to return to the TSN Sabre to refresh the type of mission it's on. It can stay out. Let's go back to this. Should be on screen. You can just see in the center the faded image of the rendezvous point so I'm going to boost her to get there a little bit quicker and move to that point here we go so there is the rendezvous point I can move through that medical teams are aboard now I can move to the final objective go back to my science console make sure I'm on track yep I've got a good track there so the medical teams are now aboard the Proteus, I can move to drop them off at the medical team drop zone. Again, they don't have to return back to the TSN Sabre for this, I can just continue on course um, and drop them straight off. It means a shuttle can do several operations in one go while the um, ship goes away and does something else. 
just spotted it there I think move to that drop zone there slow myself down and there we go so the medical teams have been deployed now I can return home again the medical teams have been deployed so there's no need to unload the shuttle when I return home and there's nothing else aboard Alright, next I'm going to just hang on a moment while the stations decide what they're doing and we're going to look at how um, the shuttle needs to come back and then be unloaded in between missions, say if it's doing a couple of pickups. So I have Columbia Station and Eaton Station there. Both of those have things aboard. So Eaton Station has Marines. I'm going to go and talk to command control, ask when the marines are done, when the marines are done they will show an extraction zone which has just appeared and it's labelled rendezvous point 4 uh, the Columbia station as well, the medical teams want picking up and bringing back to the TSN Sabre so again I'll be speaking to command and control and they'll designate the extraction zone for the medical teams Longing at my science map, again I can see the scan data. This is a marine exfiltration point, designated marine extraction point, rendezvous point four, and rendezvous point five is the medical team extraction point. Now comms already knows that the shuttle's unloaded, but if they need to check, they can have a look and they can unload the shuttle using their menu options. So you can see Proteus is message back saying negative there's no cargo to unload which means it is now free to complete this shuttle mission first off we're going to go and um, pick up the marines back into the shuttle the shuttle pilot's going to launch and it's going to set course for the marine pickup zone so we, we have the extraction zone I'm going to fly into that and I should get a message saying that the marine teams are aboard. There we go. Marine teams are aboard. We're going to head for home. I can't go and pick up the medical teams now because the marine teams are aboard. They're taking up the space on the shuttle already. Head all the way for home. Let's get the booster on so we get there a little bit quicker. And we'll dock. Now that we're docked, there's the refit time to wait for but in that time the comms officer can also unload the shuttle so they need to go through and they need to unload the shuttle you'll see the communication is going through saying that the order was received and at this time Proteus has said the shuttle has been fully unloaded those marines have been taken off looking back here I have the medical teams there's a medical team extraction point and the fighter is ready again. So I'm going to launch the fighter I'm going to head over towards the medical teams. It's also possible as well to go and drop off some cargo then go and take out the, uh, pick up the medical teams if needed or drop off something else like marines at one place and then go and pick up medical teams and return to the TSN Sabre. And we'll dock again. And that's it. We'll go back to comms, make sure the shuttle is unloaded. Orders have received. The shuttle is now unloaded. The other things that a shuttle can deliver or pick up are uh, cargo, which we look that we that I mentioned briefly, and engineering teams. So they can drop off engineering teams, they can pick up engineering teams. There's the medical teams that we've just looked at and the marines as well. Okay, so that's a guide on how the shuttle, the science and the comms officer need to interact to be able to complete shuttle operations.